uh, he looked good to me. Like I didn't see any, anything wrong neurologically. Like what these this doctor on the internet saying. You know, from this perspective, I've performed neurological exams on quite a few patients over uh, my years. And people are trying to say, and then I'm not a doctor, so I'm not even finna diagnose it. And my wife, when she saw Errol Spence enter the ring, she asked me, she's like, he looks like he's on marijuana. He has residual neurological damage. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. And the next question, do you feel like, because I hear people keep saying the wreck still impact him. It was a violent crash overnight as a Ferrari flipped on a Dallas street. In that car was Errol Spence Jr. He's the boxing champion. I hear people saying that too. Do you feel, you knew him after the wreck. And you were before training, the wreck. And before the wreck. And you were training with him even then. Do you feel like um, that wreck still affects him today? Not just mentally, I'm talking physically. No so I'm going to say this. I trained them for the Pacquiao fight. That was after, yeah, after the wreck, wreck right? Because right. Earl Daddy called me to train him for Danny Garcia, but for some reason it never worked out. But when he got the Danny fight, okay, boom, we rocked it, we locked in. And from what I seen in the, uh, the, when Garcia. I trained him for uh, Pacquiao, mm -hmm. there was nothing wrong with him. Square he, business. He was just about, like he from was. A, from a physical standpoint, he was... From a physical standpoint, he was ready. Like, Just like he was before. I, and I'm going to tell you something. I believe, this is my personal opinion. What was that? I feel like that, I feel I feel like that uh, it was uh, God stepped in. Yeah. I believe it was God saving Manny Pacquiao from Earl. That's what I honestly believe. Really? Nah, that's what I believe. Earl was going to kill that boy. No cap. So he didn't want, God didn't want that to be seen. Didn't want his legacy. I'm listening. Listen, so you believe that Pacquiao was he, that that Earl was gonna kill Pacquiao when he come down to, to totally uh, 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 destroy, you, destroy. I mean, oh, you know, basically control the fight, maybe even knock him out. This, nah, he was gonna stop him for sure, knock him out for sure. Because see, the Manny Pacquiao fight that was the first fight I ever trained him with weights. You know, training with weights with any other fight? No. No, Everything no, no. is body weight. Body weight. We did all body weight training. So why did you feel he like was it was that monstrous with body weight training? Why did you feel like it was important to do weights with this fight? Well, I always wanted to train him with weights. He just wouldn't let me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of boxers think in their mind that if you use weights, that it's going to slow them down. But mm. it depends. A, a lot of trainers don't know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? But I know what I'm doing. So that fight, he allowed me to use weight. Now, we didn't use heavyweights. Now, don't get it twisted. But we use, we did use, you know, some resistance training with weights for that particular fight. And I just believe, and, that, and I ain't gonna lie, as a trainer, I was like, yeah, this because I finally got the, because he was gonna have a power that y'all never seen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. all that was, before that, as dominant he was, that was with Cal Status. Now I get to really, really, he let the, like, Earl was like, trust me a little bit more and let the reins off. You know what I'm saying? So I finally got to use weights. That was my first fight. I was like, man, I can't wait to see how Earl going to be. But, you know, his eye had messed up. So. And when you think about weights, though, because you're a trainer, people who do, who do anything with weights take the chance of getting injured as well. Yeah, compared to free, if you don't know what you're doing. Right, compared to just doing body weight, you don't really get injured doing body nah, weight. No, facts. So totally that's agree. another thing, and that's his career. No, I totally agree. But, you know, like I said, we built a relationship for so mm -hmm. long, and, you know, I'm like, man, Earl, let me do this. And he finally said, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, I had the situation. It was unfortunate, but, you know. Do you think that after that, you had, you didn't train him after the I thing? Or did you train no, him? No, no, no. I didn't train him for Ugas. After that. He went with somebody thing, else. Yeah. And he went with somebody surgery, else. After surgery, you didn't train him. Yeah, he went with somebody else for this fight, too, so. Okay, so what did you see when it come down to the way he moved around in the ring um, far as after his eye training? Did you, because, like I said, you've seen him from a perspective of you knew how he fought. You watched how he moved. Uh -huh. You watched how his conditioning was. Make me understand how you felt about it, because you was watching if that red, if everything had healed properly. Well, he looked good. Like the Ugas fight, he looked good. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't think he was as strong as he was when I worked with him. But you know, uh, but you know, uh, he looked good to me. Like I didn't see any, anything wrong neurologically. Like what these this doctor on the internet saying. You know, from this perspective, I've performed neurological exams on quite a few patients over uh, my years.
and people are trying to say, and then I'm not a doctor, so I'm not even finna diagnose it. And my wife, when she saw Earl Spence enter the ring, she asked me, she's like, he looks like he's on marijuana. He has residual neurological damage. And, and I believe that Earl would have, you know, his dad loves him, his mom loves him. I think that he, it, would, it would be smart for him. He has the means to be able to go get the top people to analyze right. him to make sure that everything is right neurologically. And then, you know, there are certain tests that you have to pass going into a to a fight. To so a fight. I, I would pray that, you know, that everything was done right. Nobody was paid off and if something was wrong that they would allow him to continue to fight. But I don't I, I think Earl was smart enough to use his resources to be able to make sure that he's hundred percent because this, whether there's this, no is, way. Because oh, this is his life. You know what I'm saying? He gotta take care of his kids. You gotta have life after boxing and we've seen people in the past like Muhammad Ali, Gerald McCullough, you know, people that I really like, you know, and we've seen the, the aftermath of not taking care of your body, you know, or, or not just having the right people around you to assess these things. When that car started flipping, I seen that car. Mm -hmm. I, he even said that his tooth, he had to get it some tooth because he says he thought his teeth had came out yeah. when he was put at the partial in. Uh, in the fight, you know, in the other fight where he almost where he stumbled, yeah, because he and he smiled. Mm -hmm. and he thought, he said, man, I thought my teeth had came out. Yeah, to impact you, to where your car flip, you fall out, your front's gone, your face cut. Yeah, this is not a normal wreck. We know that. I agree. To throw out of a car moving and flipping like that car was flipping, like, but to see him come back and then win that fight was big for me. For you know sure. what I mean? Yeah, he looked good. Him, yeah, he looked good against Danny, man. You know, but to see him the other night and to see him the way he was maneuvering around the ring after the fight took off and he got hit with a few blows from uh, uh, Terrence yeah. made me think about neurolo the, the damage. neurological, yeah, yeah, the neurological yeah. damage. Mm -hmm. um, because you don't know. But I heard Crawford say after the match, I hit him. I was hitting him in his ear to throw off his equilibrium. Yeah. You heard him say that, or you didn't? No, hear I didn't hear him say that. Okay, I, I, I heard. I, 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 bro, I was done with that fight. When yeah. I say I was well, done, yeah. I didn't want. Well, I didn't I, watch the I, post I, nothing. Yeah, I heard him say that. Going into this fight, do you think this next fight do even have a chance to win this fight? I believe he has a chance for sure. I believe he has a chance if if he. Will you put some money on it? No, I'm not putting no money on it. Oh, that boy got hurt last time. There it is. If yeah, I don't, he ain't gonna put no, no money on it. No, listen. If I don't work with him. I'm not putting no money. You put money on him before? I did because I got faith in him. But now you feel like it's a little no, bit more strange. No, no, no. Right? I still got faith in Earl, but I just believe that, like I said, I seen some of the all access. I seen some of the preparation. And me personally, I didn't like the preparation, but I had already made my bets before I seen the preparation. So I was already locked in. Before you got in. all those texts. Exactly. I was already locked in on the, on the fight. When the fight was made, I made my best. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. When you were talking about um, the way in which Earl was fighting and stuff like that, or the different stipulations that the, the boxing federation have where you can't just go into a fight any and anyhow, um, is there where an option where if the boxer signs a waiver, like he takes all responsibility, like nothing falls on them, would they allow something like that? Uh, I, nah, that's not even like like I don't like, know. That's not even a thing in boxing. Okay, I didn't like, know. Yeah, that's not even a thing in boxing. Okay, yeah, I was yeah. just curious. Like, say everything is done by the people that put it together. You know what I mean? They got all the doctors and how they handle their situation, which I'm not privy to that information. Mm -hmm. But there is a process and a protocol on even getting a fight sanctioned. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.